I developed the name Wowie Kazawi because whenever something really fun happened, um, my friends and I, or my boyfriend and I, would say Wowie Kazawi, or or that's Wowie Kazawi, and then I thought, well, why not call that? Why not call my show the Wowie Kazawi Art Show? Well, I have a very strong background in the arts, and I'm also a registered art therapist. And when I moved here. I just had this vision that I wanted to teach art through television. I am a teacher myself, and I just feel as though if they had teachers on TV teaching, they'd be able to really captivate an audience, especially if they're fun teachers. The reason why I created the Wowie Kazawi Art Show is because I do feel that all ages need to be exposed to more visual art. This person who we're studying on this week is Matisse, and he's a really great artist. Teachers are so happy that I'm giving the students exposure because nobody else is documenting what, you know, small kids are creating in elementary school or what's going on in high school. And wait till you see this next show on the Wowie Kazawi Kids and Art, because you're going to be so impressed with the art and the expressive art that's coming out of these teenagers that are saying, if I couldn't do art, I don't know what I would do because it helped me get through these hard times. It's important to me because whenever I'm really mad or something, it's kind of relaxing and I can just go and I go into my own little world and it's just the paper and the pencil and me. Basically, I'm giving you exposure to artist studios when I go on location. And I just found out it was a lot easier if I was doing a cooking demonstration at a friend's house to just use the kitchen table to just do my introduction. Okay, so now it's time for our art demonstration on the Wowie Kazawi Show. And I have my friend here, Vertrude. I have different um, artists doing different demonstrations um, in the show. 215 pounds with hollow inside it's about two inch thick walls in the legs because i'm not an expert in every art medium in the last show i did on sculpture i actually found a fabulous sculptor who studied in italy to show the process of carving stone by hand and he did show the different tools that he used and i thought it was really fascinating to watch myself it's um you have to hit a lot of little little hits and um, to, to have a controlled cut. Music is also important in my show because I feel that music and art are both very healing. Even dance, all the creative arts are healing. So I'm going to give as, as much exposure as possible. And it's exciting to see what they're like. Besides wanting to teach art I also have a passion for cooking and I think a lot of people are interested in watching cooking shows, especially nowadays. So I thought I would start the Get Your Garlic On show and do something very simple and very fast. When I started the first three shows, I was interviewing people that actually had a pet dog and then I just put it in the show because it was there and it ended up working out. In my cooking demonstration, I was babysitting a basset hound and it would love my Caesar salad, so I had it eat the Caesar salad with me at the end of the show. After I complete one of the Wowie Kazawi art shows, I always feel a little sad because it's over and it really is a fun process. Basically, all the characters that I do play, I'm trying to encourage people to get involved in the arts or get involved in cooking or just get involved in doing something that's fun, that's creative. I create and do everything and make it all happen. <laughs> um, I am actually the character. I'm the Get Your Garlic On cooking instructor. I am the, um, sometimes I'm even the art demonstration instructor. Well, I am a character in this show. I'm Sherry Kazowie. <laughs>